method works with 3D Studio Max um, versions probably about six and up though honestly I lost track this is version 9 the tip here is that when modeling things using editable polys or editable meshes they tend to look pretty chewed up and right now we're looking at Proton here um, and this is his hand but without oh, let me delete the lights so you can get a better grasp of what oh goodbye head a better grasp of the issue um well there we go you can see with his hand here it's very blocky and just doesn't look good but that's because most people who model with the box modeling method would model it in low poly like this and then apply a mesh smooth to it from your modifiers tab with varying levels of smoothness to smooth it out so that it looks good actually I'm just gonna delete the rest of the character here so what you can see is that the hand smooths out but a lot of the time when you're developing like this you have people who are swapping between turning mesh smooth on and off to see where their points are but what you can do is on your editable poly layer is right here if you click the show result what that will do is show you the final result of your modifier stack so that you can edit your mesh with the mesh smooth showing up live that way you don't have to keep switching between your your two point or your two or even more more than two levels to see what the final result would be now this works with mesh smoothing or just about anything in this modifier stack so say the hand is like so and I'm applying a mesh smooth and then I'm applying a bend and then I'm applying uh, so many options I'm applying some noise like let's just give it some noise you can turn on and off the the little light bulbs here too and what that will do is show you the end result based on what is turned on so as I turn the bend on and off we can see what happens as I turn the noise on and off we can see what happens as I turn the mesh smooth on and off we can see what happens so this is a very useful button here that a lot of times when people are being taught or self-teaching themselves they don't notice it and they overlook it and spend a lot of time flipping between layers here just to figure out what the final product is going to be and there's actually a button for it. So there's your quick tip for 3D, 3D Studio Max specifically. Uh, use your final result button. It's very useful. That's it.